Ethan Hunt kills dozens of people across all the Mission Impossible movies, accumulating a total kill count that may surprise some viewers. Since the original Mission Impossible movie premiered in 1996, Hunt has found increasingly sharper and more creative ways of taking out his many opponents, mainly due to the seemingly age-defying abilities of Tom Cruise. As Ethan Hunt progresses through each Mission Impossible film, his kill count expands only to meet the demands of the most current mission that he chooses to accept. Ethan Hunt's coolest bad guy kills are mostly spread out between four of the six Mission Impossible movies currently released. Several of Ethan's best kills arise in the final moments of each MI movie in iconic and memorable scenes that surprisingly leave the miraculous Hunt alive to fight another day. While the super speed is not as trigger happy in a few of the Mission Impossible films as he is in others, Hunt maintains his integrity throughout each installment of the franchise, killing only in self-defense or in pursuit of his main objective. In the very first mission, Impossible Movie, Ethan Hunt only kills two people. The deaths don't arrive until the very end of the film in the climactic moment where Ethan delivers the iconic line red light, green light before planting an adhesive explosive on the helicopter he is hanging onto. The main villain in the original mission, Impossible was Jim Phelps, John Vaught who was hanging on the other side of the helicopter that Ethan took down. Both Phelps and the helicopter pilot, secondary antagonist Franz Krieger, perished in the helicopter crash as Ethan was able to phenomenally survive, killing two birds with one stone. Ethan Hunt's highest total kill count out of any mission, impossible movie is in Mission, Impossible 2. Ethan racked up a total of 24 kills in the second installment of the Mission, Impossible franchise, most of the people Ethan killed were unnamed armed men that Ethan took down during shootouts, particularly early on in Mission Impossible 2 where Ethan killed at least 10 of his opponents. As a result of Ethan's sharp gun skills, he was able to kill a total of 23 armed assailants, while saving the most important one for the main villain Sean Ambrose. Ethan was finally able to get the upper hand on the antagonist in Mission Impossible 2, shooting him dead with three fatal shots with a handgun. In Mission, Impossible 3, Ethan essentially splits the difference between the first two Mission, Impossible installments with a total of 14 fatalities. Ethan's kills came about in Mission, Impossible 3 similarly to its 2000 predecessor, with most of them being either shot by Ethan's handgun or assault rifle or alternatively, getting blown up by an explosive that Ethan ignited. Ethan also forces a car with two unnamed armed men inside to crash by shooting out its tires causing it to fly into midair before killing its passengers. The final death in Mission, Impossible 3 is the main villain Owen Davian, Philip Seymour Hoffman, who gets pushed off of Ethan into an oncoming speeding truck, killing him instantly on impact. Surprisingly, Ethan only kills one person in Mission, Impossible, Ghost Protocol and even the one kill is questionable. During hand-to-hand -hand combat inside the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, Ethan kicked an unnamed man in the throat with an amazing force that could have plausibly killed him. The kill cannot be confirmed, but it's likely that Ethan's power could have collapsed a lung, crushed his trachea, or broken significant bones in his chest or neck. Especially since there are no other Ethan Hunt kills in the entirety of Mission, Impossible, Ghost Protocol, it's worth counting on the official Ethan Hunt kill count. Ethan killed 13 people in Mission, Impossible, Rogue Nation, the fourth installment of the Mission. Impossible franchise, some of Ethan's most innovative and satisfying takedowns out of all the Mission Impossible movies take place in Rogue Nation, including the very first one in which Ethan kicks a syndicate operative named Kagan off a catwalk to his death above a live opera performance. Rogue Nation also features several motorcycle stunt kills in which Ethan crushes a few unnamed syndicate members with his BMW. Ethan also bumped another motorcyclist off a cliff. Ethan also successfully shoots out seven syndicate members including the notable henchman Saif by the end of Rogue Nation. Ethan kills 10 people in Mission, Impossible, Fallout, bringing the total Ethan Hunt kill count to 64. As per usual, most of Ethan's victims are named armed men, in this case, members of the Apostles who work for the elusive John Lark, otherwise known as August Walker, Henry Cavill. Ethan ultimately defeats John Lark in what may be the best and most creative kill of the entire Mission, Impossible franchise, with Lark catching a large metal hook to the face, sending him falling off the side of a cliff to his certain death below. While most of Ethan Hunt's kills are done with expert precision and slick improvisation, some of them, such as Lark's epic takedown, 
are also indications of Ethan's amazing luck in the mission, impossible franchise.